You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both! Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out! Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys.
Don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp near somewhere they could lie low until the perfect. About Fashav. <sighs> The man was taken captive by the Tanakh, survived for years out in the West, only to die just short. It's a cruel end for a... What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to... As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded a fish... No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and... At least Nozar went down fighting. Well, no. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken at the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as... And then New Taru farmland. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the story. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into... But the United Clans rose up against them. Forced them all. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. Scrolls have to be filled with something, right? You mentioned the Utara tribe. They're like... That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch. At least get more taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raid, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. 
The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but... If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food short. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... I'd need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, recall as machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. <laughs> it worked! Take this. ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge battle. The Ravens. They gave everything they had to slow down the Taurus one. To buy Zero Dawn time. inside. If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by. Are you all Delvers? We've been working no man's land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Line, you know, after that embassy of theirs, seeing as how we almost got... I'm guessing things didn't go... <sighs> You could. It's not like No Man's Land was, but I didn't think I'd have to worry about this tonight. And now, they're riding machines. If you were headed back to Baron Light, we ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, but the place is full of weird. Can't get through this stuff. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Oh. <laughs> and that's my cue. Thanks for helping us out. Well, that's a. 